good morning, good afternoon. Excuse me, y'all. Um, listen. Have, have y'all. Ooh, sorry about that, y'all. Okay, and I'm back. You know what's very interesting is that um, Dick Cheney, his daughter Liz Cheney, all of them have given the okay to um and their support for Kamala Harris and I don't want to get into this whole thing again and neither and nor do I want to waste my time uh for the one percent of black folk that say they're not gonna vote for her uh, or they I mean that they are going to vote for uh, uh Donald Trump one percent I'm not even gonna waste my time with y'all because it, it don't even matter. You you can you can do whatever you want to do, okay? Because at this point, in my opinion, y'all so far off base that it don't really matter what you think anyway. You like the slave that said, "Massa, massa, uh, is we sick?" It's we, that's exactly. Even though you saying it's the 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 ones you um don't agree with. I think is you, okay? Because anybody that would be up against this type of um, scrutiny, up against this type of conundrum, and still be saying, oh, I'm going to vote for um, Donald Trump. A man clearly devoid of anything, any kind of moral compass or conscience, uh, you know, all of it. Somebody that ha- is a known racist and you're black, or brown, and this is your candidate, then I know who, who you are, it, basically. And you the 1% I don't even want to give no more breath to. But who I do want to talk about is George Bush has finally made a decision on the 2024 presidential race. Um, and this was um, after Dick Cheney's um, move, of course. Because, see, my, I'm on something totally different. With these 70 fake electorates and all that stuff, they're going to pull it again. This is what y'all should be worried about, as opposed to worried about who's going to vote for Kamala. You should be concerned about that, because that's going to determine whether we have not only a free and fair election this time around, whether we end up with a dictator or not. And if you can't see that far, then, like I said, I don't got no conversation for you. But anyway, the president, the former president, George Bush, has made an announcement about the 2024 presidential election race in November. But he's taking a less prominent stance than his vice president. Bush, a Republican who served from 2001 to 2009, said in a statement on Saturday that he had no plans to make a public endorsement, um, refusing to back Donald Trump. Okay? he ha- So he has no plans to make a public endorsement, refusing to back Donald Trump. He retired from presidential politics many years ago, a spokesman said, adding that neither Bush nor his wife, Laura, would, re- would reveal who they are voting for in November. Okay? They don't... They don't want nobody to know. Um, it's very interesting. Um, he, he, he does not endorse and candidate ahead of the 2024 election. Okay, last week, Bush's former vice president, Dick Cheney, sent shockwaves through the political sphere when he revealed that he plans to to cross party lines and vote for Kamala Harris, especially at what they did to his daughter. <laughs> That's what I think. I think um, that in itself, as much and as long as they had served the Republican Party, uh, the Republican Party that I still know, and that a lot of y'all still know, not this MAGA group, 
this MAGA group of Klansmen and um, the dumb, you know, don't, like I said, I don't count the 1% because you got to remi- remember, black people fought on the north, on the side of the north and the south in the Civil War. Black people are always doing stuff against their best interests because they are so uh, crazy from slavery. Their cellular memory is totally off the chart. And basically, um, you really have to vet us real good. You can't take us serious because most of us, a lot of us, are severely mentally ill. And we will vote against our best interests all the time. Okay? Cause so so don't say cause this black person is doing that. This black person may be sick, like a a, a great majority of them are. Just like Willie Lynch said, we implement this, and I'll tell you, you will see a corrupt, mismatched, um, divided people, and so that's what we have here. However, I want to get back to. Uh, George Bush, who um, he's decided not to endorse either candidate in this November's president election. Now, that's really weird because, wow, he, 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 he would vote for Condi. <laughs> um, Cheney, who served as vice president again under uh, George Bush from the duration of his two terms, said on Friday that our nation's 240-year history, there has never been an individual who is a greater threat to our republic than Donald Trump. He added, as citizens, we have the duty to put the country above partisanship to defend our constitution And that is why I will be casting my vote for Vice President Kamala Harris. Cheney Cheney has faced criticism over the years from Human Rights Group as he played a large role in planning the U.S. wars against Afghanistan and Iraq, which produced a heavy civilian death toll and human rights abuses. Absolutely. His daughter, Liz Cheney, a former U.S. representative, Um, said on Wednesday she would vote for Harris, calling Trump a danger to America. She also has been a vocal critic of presidential candidate, including over the January 6th. Oh, God, I I didn't even forget. Well, I didn't forget, but I didn't even mention that. Storming into the White House and, um, defecating on the floor and all that old crazy stuff that they did in in there. You know, the fact that you would um, even consider this person, go to show me just how whack we all are as a nation. And ain't no one person gonna fix it. And you so silly, if you think you put one person in there, they become a dictator and you never can get them out, that that's gonna solve our problems. That's gonna get us reparations. All the crazy stuff that I'm hearing from anybody, any I don't care who it is. At this point, at, at this point, without a constructive plan, besides setting up chapters and cities and shit like that, without a comprehensive plan, right now, besides complaining, I don't want to hear it. I really don't. Uh, anyways. Should George Bush reveal who he is voting for? This is my question, because this is what I really want to ask y'all. This is what the video is all about. What y'all think? Should he say who he's voting for? Um, you know, or is he doing the right thing by not even, um, you know, mentioning during this period who he's going to vote for? You know, Harris was in Pittsburgh preparing for the September 10th debate against her Republican rival, with whom she is locked in a tight race for November 5th. Um, she said both Cheneys were making a courageous statement and that it's okay, if not important, 
to put the country above party. And them stepping up to make this public statement, I think is very courageous too. But also, for the folks I was just talking with, it really reinforces for them that we love our country and we have more in common than we have that separates us. And that line I agree with because if human beings can begin to focus on what they have in common um, and they have not read Baker's Rebellion or have uh, read about Baker's Rebellion or don't even know the concept or what happened during that time, then these people don't know enough. And, and then you arguing with babies, basically. Like my grandchild, you know, when they don't get their way, I ain't doing it. I don't want to do it. And, you know, that's how kids act. And so we are politically, um, you know, almost like infants. We really are. Because we think and we have thought for a long time that all you got to do is vote and then you go home and rest for the next four years. There has never been a concerted, consistent effort to keep the politics pushed, to keep the education of voting pushed, you know, none of this. And so we're so elementary in our thought process, that's why it really frustrates me. Because I'm like, y'all ain't did nothing. To be talking about, oh, I ain't voting and I ain't doing it. What have you done on a consistent basis since you was allowed the right to vote? To change some of this stuff. Tell me something that we've done that would rival what they did with the Montgomery boycott. Name me one thing that we've done collectively that was on a scale even like on that level. Where we had a solidarity and we backed um, an idea that was not against our own best interest. But that that would glorify our best interest. Tell me, because I may be missing something. And if I am, then just charge it to my head and not my heart. But after all the years I've been voting, I'm well past 55. And if this is what I see, then what you saying? (laughs) Y'all is so sad. But anyway, we won't digress again. Trump called Dick Cheney an irreverent rhino (laughs) along with his daughter in the social media post on Friday using the term he applies to Republicans who are not loyal to him. So that's going to show you, you a sucker, you loyal to a man like this. All of y'all MAGA voters, black, white, and you know, you, you, you got a serious problem. You just contrary. As my granny used to say, you just contrary. Anyway, Mike Pence, who served as Trump's vice president for four years, has said also that he won't endorse his former boss. But he has not backed Harris. So a lot of y'all, I could even see you ain't got nobody on your, um, or don't have anybody on your radar to vote for. But to say you voting for Trump, just let me know where you stand as a human being. And I don't think much of you, actually. So, with that being said, again, I want to know if y'all think that George Bush Jr., George W., if you think he should just go ahead and say it, who he's going to vote for. Now, I'd like to know. Okay? All right. I'm going to see you in the next video. And if you like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel. See you in the next one.